Many think that eating with a spoon and fork is the best choice than eating with your hands. But it turns out that eating by hand has extraordinary benefits. What are the benefits of the Prophet's Sunnah? Rasulullah saw always recommends doing various activities using the right hand. Even before eating, Rasulullah used his right hand and always said Basmala. Rasulullah also once admonished his friend. Umar bin Abi Salama Ra and also admonished him while he was eating. When I was a child and under the care of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, my hands were on the tray while eating. So the Messenger of Allah peace and prayer of Allah be upon him said, O Ghulam, Red Bismillah, eat with your right hand and eat the food that is in front of you. So that's how I ate after that. Reported by Bukhari and Muslim. This advice also applies to left-handed people. Even a person who dominates his activities with his left hand should try to eat with his right. Although various activities such as writing using the left hand. Rasulullah once admonished left-handed people who ate with their left hand. Salama bin al aqwat Ra said, there was a man eating beside Rasulullah saw with his left hand. So Rasulullah said, eat with your right hand. He replied, I can't. He said, hopefully, you can't even though nothing prevents him from eating with his right hand except being arrogant. After that, he can no longer raise his hand over his mouth. Narrated by Muslim. According to Ayurveda, each fingertip also has nerves that affect digestion. Even eating by hand affects the texture, taste, and aroma of food. Research in the medical world states that eating using clean hands is considered much healthier than using a spoon. Eating with your hands also has health effects. Here are some reasons why eating with your hands is a good health habit. One, streamlining the digestive process. The hand right contains the arnase enzyme found at the fingertips produced by three fingers, namely the thumb, forefinger, and middle finger which functions to suppress the activity of pathogenic bacteria in the body besides that our bodies also naturally contain bacteria or plants found in places such as the hands, mouth, throat, and intestines. These natural bacteria have a good function, which is to protect themselves from the entry of bad viruses. When you eat with your hands, the good bacteria will enter the digestive system and stimulate the body's system to work optimally. The enzyme in the finger of the right hand was found to be united with the amylase enzyme found in saliva, so that the process of breaking down food in the body is faster. It is recommended that when you want to eat, Wash your hands first because the enzymes in your hands will easily come out when your hands are wet. The enzymes in the right hand function to help the digestive process while the function of the left hand enzyme to kill bacterial germs so when we are itchy. Cleaning dirt should use the left hand and when eating use the right hand. Two, helps improve blood circulation. Eating with your hands triggers movement for excellent muscle training. This affects blood circulation more smoothly. This consistent hand movement makes the blood flow as if it is pumping naturally. Three, give a signal to the brain and avoid burning tongue. 
When the hand touches food, the sense of touch sends a signal to the brain so that the brain responds and tells digestion that food is coming. Releasing the proper digestive enzymes and substances to aid in the digestive process. Hands can also be temperature sensors so that they can protect our tongue from food that is too hot. Of course, this will not be obtained when eating using cutlery. Four, helps lose weight. According to a study published in the journal Appetite, when people eat with their hands while reading a newspaper or watching television at the same time, they avoid snacking. In other words, eating with your hands makes a person feel fuller than someone who eats using cutlery. 5. Helps prevent type 2 diabetes. A study published in the journal Clinical Nutrition states that people with type 2 diabetes are more likely to become fast eaters if they eat using cutlery. Eating with a spoon and fork correlates with eating faster which is associated with an imbalance of blood sugar in the body. The more uncontrolled blood sugar, the more it contributes to an increased risk of type 2 diabetes. So in essence eating by hand tends to be slower thus suppressing the increase in blood sugar spikes. Of course, eating by hand must be adjusted to the situation and condition of the texture of the food to be consumed, and of course this method is not suitable for foods such as soup. If you can use your hands, try using your hands. If not possible, then use the tools as usual. That's all and thank you.